pain you gave to me so long ago Sleepless nights I laid awake just begging to let go I almost got to suicidal thoughts when you stepped in An angel sent from heaven showed me how to live again Now I'm falling and I can't see the ground Stop this gravity It keeps bringing me down What is good guys and welcome to today's very special video. We are in a undisclosed location and as you can see behind me there's some very special cars here. That's an old JGTC race car from over 20 years ago. We're going to get a closer look at that later. It's the sickest super I've ever seen in my life. But this place I'm going to call I guess where Japanese race cars go to die. It's like a graveyard literally just full of them. Memorabilia, really cool things. Honestly it's like a museum. It's insane. So enough talking, let's just show you what's here. I really don't know where to start filming at this place because there's just so many crazy things here. But I figured we'd start with this. There's a freaking old NASCAR just sitting on the roof of a garage here. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. And then this car is very special. So as I said, Okachan's here with me today. And he remembers seeing this old starlet racing over 40 years ago at Scuba Circuit. Isn't that insane? It's so cool to see that there. He was literally like getting up close trying to get a good look at it because he literally remembers that as a young person around scuba circuit. And then here's a Toyota Pabrica. Very cool. Obviously, uh, the rust and the rot has gotten to it and it's more of just memorabilia at this point. And you can kind of see up the back here, there's a lot more other kind of car parts. I think that's like an old Corvette shell or something there. Very cool. Definitely uh, a lot of exhaust parts and stuff like that. <laughs> so this place is actually a workshop here in Japan and uh, they're mainly known for actually working on time attack grip cars, like race cars and stuff like that. You can see that they've got the new Roadster there or Miata or MX-5, depending on where you're from in the world. It's working on a Spider right now, giving it a good cleaner. And uh, there's some top secret race cars up in the back there undercover that I can't show you today. But as you can see, they work on a bunch of really cool stuff. And this is another one of their cars, NSX. And it's all been set up for grip and time attack as well. It's got the front bumper removed at the moment because they're doing some work on it. But it's just so good to see these kind of things out and about and set up for grip, like full on semi slicks. It looks great. But that's not even the best of what's here. And I keep saying this and you guys are probably like, yeah, come on, really? But no, seriously, it gets better. I just hold out. I promise, trust me. There's a really nice BMW Alpina here. Behind that's a Datsun Sunny Ute. And then over here is a Sunny 310. <laughs> Very nice. It's crazy to see these old cars in this good condition. I forgot to show this before, but under the Starlet here, got another Alpina. And uh, I don't actually know my Mercedes too well, but this thing is really cool. We're going to go for a little walk up the road now and show you some of the other cars. And don't worry, we'll get to this in a little bit. So in this other yard here, it's pretty sad to see this, but V9 3.5 Alfina. I'm still learning about my BMWs, but this is a very cool car. And it kind of sucks to see it just rotting away. Parts car, waiting for someone to raid it. Man. And then over here, really cool nostalgic bluebird that used to be raced back in the day over 40 years ago as well this thing is sick obviously it's been completely stripped out and it's just kind of sitting here as a bare shell looks like it still has its transmission in there but just seeing I think the coolest thing for me is seeing like the old interior and stuff and how they had things set up back in the day like the old dashboards and stuff and check out that harness the old school Nismo logo Harness like uh, covers and stuff. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? 
And then you've also got like that old wing down there with Nissan on there. These are full like 100% old race cars. Oh man, that is so cool. Even the, luckily the badge is still there with the tail lamp. <laughs> oh man, there's some really cool memorabilia here guys. And the yard continues over that side, which we'll get to in a little bit. But this is sick. Whew. Now we're talking. EK Civic. Yes. This thing is sick. Hasn't been used in a very long time though. But definitely still drivable by the looks of it. Very cool. <laughs> Oh man, this is so cool. He's got the net there. Really cool old seat. Magnum, uh, never heard of Magnum harnesses before. It's just cool though. Big old cluster uh, RPM taco in there. Uh, I guess he needs to know when he hits VTEC. He may not be able to see it because of the water and the reflection, but this thing is cool. All right, so I've made it across the road now, and I think we should start in this corner because this is a fully restored, still running and everything, Toyota Publica. So cool. I don't think I've ever seen one still like on the road. Very nice. Then next to it, we have this uh, Nissan Micra, which is set up for racing as well. Fully caged. Um, looks like a bunch of fun if I was honest. <laughs> very, very, very cool. That's sick. It really is. And then we can kind of see where we're coming into here. There's a lot of really unique cool cars there. Like there's a Hachidoku right there, 11. And Alpina parts everywhere, Alpina parts cars everywhere. Wed Sport wheels just crammed into cars, left, right and center. Oh man. Pretty cool little roadster. All spec'd out once again for racing. Very cool. I love that sticker. Strike witches, guys. <laughs> All my weebs out know what that's about. This is like uh, the cars that they use for taxis. Oh yeah, it is. It's got the markings on the roof for the old taxi stuff. We might need to come out here. When no, oh, it's even got the old taxi company number uh, and stuff on the side. We need to come out here because one day I want to do just a stupid, insane actual real Japanese taxi build with like a 2JZ and just turn it into a stupid drift car. Just for fun and shows, you know. This is sick. What is this, an old Corona? Guys, oh, the steering wheel's not really in that bad shape. I think the coolest thing about this, oh man, I'm gonna ask the guys later if he'll let me take this key ring. Cause that is cool. Look at that. That's the sickest thing I've ever seen. This looks like an old prelude. Seen better days. And stuff just kinda escalates from here. Another prelude. What's this, an old Mustang convertible? Yo, it is. Still has the keys in the ignition too. There's the old Mustang logo. Look, there they are. It's got a cool keychain on there too. Man, this is sick. Old Izuzu. A little bit of information. Uh, it's called Izuzu in Japan. I struggled for a bit identifying the car brand with my friends here until they corrected me. And a Belly. Bell? Bellel? I guess you'd pronounce it like that. Bellel Special. That's cool. I haven't seen one of these before. Very cool. Is this a Corvette? <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Oh, and Workmeisters too. Oh, that is baller as. Kind of sad to see this thing just collecting mold and stuff out here though, and mildew. Jesus, Alpine is everywhere, literally. It's a lot of sick cars out here. And this is, there's another yard we gotta look at still, by the way. Yeah. This is a Mustang too. Very cool. It's another 11 here. This thing definitely used to be raced back in the day. Fully caged, it's got all the padding still on there. A bunch of parts. 
Looks like it may have been a victim of a flood at some point or there's just mold growing on everything in there. It's pretty crazy. Man. Oh, this thing's cool. This is what everyone steals the engine for to put into their old Hachirokus, right? <laughs> GTZ supercharged. So it's got a four age in it, right? That's supercharged. And everyone takes these out or finds these engines to put into these things or the genuine Hachirokus. I think there was another one up there. I definitely know there's more in the other yard we're about to look at. It's cool to see one of those here. Very nice. Oh, is that a D DR30? I think I just found a DR30 Skyline. Yeah. Oh man, that's so cool. Kind of hurts my soul though to see it sitting here. Looks like the hood is, is, is unlatched. Should we take a quick look? Oh, there it is guys. The famous FJ. That's so cool. I guess it's just kind of sitting here waiting to either be restored or it's going to be used as a parts car. Most likely a parts car. It's in really not that bad shape. Front fender's a little bit damaged. Rear quarters look great though. Headlights look great. Yeah. Man, I love these cars so much. Another prelude. <laughs> I'm behind the prelude. It's really nice. JZ80 Supra. Nice red one. The question is, is it manual six-speed? The answer is yes. Oh, there you go. Nice. Some old-school BMW 2002s. Man, that's cool. Another uh, couple 11 Hachirokus. Nice red ones. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool seeing all this kind of stuff here. What is this thing? It's like an old... I can't really tell what it is. There's the whole front of it's like destroyed and the rear is too. Oh, it's a Civic. It's like an old EF Civic. That's cool. There you go. Then these BMWs, hey. I don't know much about my BMWs like I said before, but I know these are super rare. Hey, something I know lots about, 180SX. Man, this is so cool. It'd be so rad to come to some place like this, like later on, and just buy something like this and go through it and try to fix it and repair it. Obviously, I don't know the condition of this car at all. It's got an old uh, IMSA seat in there. It's really hard to see because of all the mold and stuff on the window. Ooh, it's got the old logo there. That's kind of special. Very nice, it's in pretty good shape, hey. Other than the mildew and stuff, lots of parts on the inside of it. <laughs> oh, okay. They all do this in this one spot, hey. Bummer. Still though, looks pretty cool. Wonder if this is like an old CA one or SR. <laughs> kind of curious. Oh, I think it is a CA, because it's got a CA bumper, right? Interesting. Couple crashed, eight sixes. They've been here for a while though, as new as these cars are. This has definitely been here for a while. Look at all the, the mold and mildew growing on it. Another one up there. These, they go through them a fair bit. Ooh, I saw something interesting up here. Are they some old four ages? Yes, they are. Ooh, boys, we lucked out. Ooh, that's a cool old wheel. Kind of want to collect stuff like that. That's sick, just a four age chilling out here. Hopefully, uh, it's not actually a good motor because it won't be anymore. Although it seems like it was at some point. They've got an old glove stuffed into the intake manifold. Another one sitting there. Man. That's cool. What is this thing? What is that? I just managed to get a look at the rear of it. It looks like an old Corona. Toyo Pet logo is still there. That's sick. At first when I kind of looked in the rear of this, I thought that was maybe a dead animal, but it's like a, an old duster of some kind. <laughs> Oh man, all right, we need to go look at another yard. I know there's a lot here that we didn't really get to look at much of um, in like full detail. Oh, a Carina. <sighs> but we still got to look at a lot in this one, but let's go look at the other one and then go check out that really cool old Supra.
We're just walking up the road to the second yard, but that's the third yard over there that just expands all through there. And Okachan's legit freaking out. Sugoi, the shore. This is amazing. So we're going to check out this yard here now. As you can see, there's a couple of Hachirokus here. Man, I'm so pumped. It just continues all the way through there. Sugoi. That's incredible. Hmm, nostalgic, man. Nah. So, I'm gonna assume that this is a lot more of like kind of crash stuff. Because this Hachiroku definitely uh, met its end in a pretty bad way. Wow. Looks like the guy who used to drive this Integra went for a pretty scary ride. Wow. That's a big crash. And then up here, is this an old roadster? Yep. Man, S13, Sylvia. There you go, tail lights are missing of course. It's been got parts missing off it everywhere. Let's see, is there still an engine in it? Hey, SR. <laughs> in there. This is cool. So Okachan was just telling me that he's driven this before back in the old day, which is an Isuzu Piazza. Oh, it's So 117 coupe. This is cool. I don't think I've ever seen this car before. I said it was turbo, I think, too. Oh, there's another one here. There is so much here. I just keep looking at the Civics. <laughs> oh, 2002 BMW. Another parts car, I guess. I saw the doors open. Let's have a little peek. Oh, wow. The interior's definitely aged over time. Man, a lot of Alpinas everywhere here. That interior is pretty, pretty spicy. Vitz RS. Okamura-san uh, used to like Vitzes back in the day, if you know uh, some of the old videos. So finally ventured over the road. There's some cool cars here. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm drawn to these two S chassis because they look super cool. <laughs> Okachan's loving this. This is so cool. Completely stripped out grip cars. This is seriously so cool. Man, some nostalgic stuff here, that's for sure. EK Civic, and then there's like EFs, EGs behind here. Hachiroku, that's an EF. I don't see any EGs, sorry. All stripped out. Old, old Levin there. Wow. Another EK. Was this another Hachiroku? This is seriously so cool. What is up the end here? I think some more BMW 2002 stuff. Oh. Wait, is this a Cosmo? It is. No way! It's just sitting out here. What a find! That's insane! The registration sticker is for Hesse 11. So this was crashed a very long time ago. Hesse 11. I'm trying to think what that would be in like normal years. So venturing a little bit deeper in here now, this just only gets even more insane. Is that a 13B just sitting on the ground? Yep, it is. <laughs> I'll try and throw that in my trunk. Um, I don't know which direction to go. Maybe we'll go that way last. Far out, there's so many cool cars here. Is this a Lotus? Okay, we're getting, we'll go there last. We'll go there last. Man, these old like truck cabs and stuff are just full of transmissions and engines and wheels. 
This is seriously so cool. It's another 11. M lots of EKs out here and Integras and stuff. That's so cool. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Hachiroku. Look at all these old wheels. Uh, what? Mid get? Oh my gosh, Coronas. What? I am completely freaking out. There's an old Z up in there, I think, too. This is so cool. Everything's just literally just in here, storage. There's some old, like, semi-slick stacked up the back there. This is so freaking cool. There's an old BMW there, like an E36 of some kind, maybe M3. That's caged and race spec'd out too. Wow. All right, let's venture up the back here a bit, guys. A lot of Hachirokus. It's good to see a lot of pop-up light ones. Whoa. Wow, they've literally used every bit of land that they have here. I'm gonna try and make my way through here. Oh boy, all for you guys. So we got up the back here, and there's a legit bamboo forest that's like starting to fall down on these cars. That's so cool. Man. Publica, another one. That's very cool. And some more here. Lots of parts everywhere. All right, let's get back through this mess. Getting a closer look at this EK here from the front. Trying not to fall down in there. <laughs> Into the bamboo forest that looks so eerie. Um, this thing is fully stripped out, like insane. You can see all the fuel pump stuff just sitting there in the, in the back seat where it used to be. Very, very cool. Integra, pretty much the same, same. Oh man, this is seriously so cool. This Lotus here. Another 11. Man, there's a lot of money here. A lot of money. And even up here on this side, they've got the old like FRP Lotus shells. Corona Mark II. Oh man. And this old Starlet. Oh my gosh. I'm literally just freaking out right now. What is that thing up there? Is that like an old BMW fully caged? Something like that. These old truck cabins, wedge sport ones, sick. So these old Lotuses, the shells are completely made from fiberglass. So as you can see, like they haven't rusted at all. And these shells are still worth a lot of money because they can be completely restored. As you can see, all FRP. It's hard to see the camera, probably can't pick it up too well, but that can all be still fixed. The body's in great shape. There's no damage to the outer shell at all. So this is worth a lot of money actually. Jeez, those cars are about to fall off. It's literally blowing my mind that I'm literally standing behind this super eerie bamboo forest. Like it looks, it looks freaky in there. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> all right, let's hit these rows now. Old crashed 8.6, another EK. Old school Toyota. Man, a lot of BMW stuff again. Some Hachirokus, wow, this one's definitely seen better days. Still got an old charm on the bottom there. Oh, that's so cool. This thing's literally about to fall down and roll into the ditch though. Some nostalgic in there, that's for sure. Moving through here, old Alteza crashed of course. This thing, what is this thing? Old air-cooled front engine, look at that. That's very cool, I don't know what this is. That's interesting. Publica, I wonder if it is a Publica actually. Yeah, they do look the same, probably is a Publica. Another Hachiroku, another 11. Look at how much just moss is growing on that. And all the all the rust there and the exhaust pipe too. 
Far out, guys. It's kind of sad, but it's also like just super, like it's such a nice feeling to see all of these here like this. Still, like, oh, I can't even, I, I don't even know how to describe this. Like it's sad, but it's also nice to see this and just take a walk down memory lane. This is so cool. There's an old RX-7 here. Oh man. You can see the rotary is just literally like lying upside down in there. It looks like all the engine mounts just collapsed and it flipped on itself. Try and move this. There it is. Poor thing. So the door was open and we're able to take a quick look inside this old Starlet. How cool is this? I just love seeing all the old tech and stuff from back in the day. Like still all the old labels and stuff for ignition, fuel pump, wipers, defrosters, lights. It's so cool. And the old racing seat. Look, Japan Cup Gymkhana stickers. Oh, it's so cool. Unfortunately though, this thing is definitely uh, got some holes through to the bottom. We're back at the workshop now. I think it's finally time we take a look at this old Supra. I have so many mixed feelings about this car just sitting here. It's kind of insane. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I wish it was still like, you know, being driven or used and started up regularly and maintained. But also, I understand that it's a lot of money to keep something like this maintained, especially from this era. It is seriously the coolest thing ever. Like this arrow, the wing. It completely reminds me of like the old 32 Calsonic GTR. But obviously this is just on a completely different level in my opinion. People are gonna probably hate me for saying that, but they're both completely two different cars, two completely different builds. This thing is just so cool. Like look at the old, old school method of being able to adjust the wing. All the different holes there and stuff, you just line them up, you get different effects, downforce, all that kind of stuff. Just how wide this thing is as well. Man, so cool. These wheels blow my mind as well. They look very similar to like an old LMGT two wheel kind of thing. Made by Volk Racing, center lock. Some pretty big Brembo brakes hidden up in there. Yeah, man. We're gonna go talk to the guy and see if he'll let us take a good look inside and open the door. But inside just looks crazy. They've just given us permission to open this thing up. Oh, carbon fiber doors. <laughs> I was expecting that to be way heavier than it was. Whoa. This roll cage is next level. How do people even fit in this? So cool. So cool. Look at the old um, pistons that bring the car up in the air. You pump air through that and it lifts the whole car off. Old Bride or Brid FIA seat. This is so cool. All carbon fiber. I didn't even know they had digital dashes back then. Denso, uh, Nippon Denso. Wow. Some nostalgic right there. Just look at these pedals too. Oh man, that's so cool. They also gave us permission to lift the hood up. Oh. I'm a little bit worried about breaking something, so I'm gonna be very careful. Oh, it's jammed a little bit on the pins. Wow. I was not expecting that at all. Is that an old beam, like a, a 3S GTE? That is so cool. And that is a huge turbo. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. V-mount setup. This is such cool. Like old tech and stuff. I've never seen anything like this from back in that day. And how it's all the way behind the front subframe. The power steering rack is up here in the top. This is so cool.
there you guys go. I think it's best that we uh, wrap up the video here. The finale was the Supra after all. I am seriously completely mind blown by what we found here today. And the best thing is, is we can get parts off them in the future if we ever get any of these cars and stuff like that. But this thing behind me, it's never going to be for sale. So uh, if you do find out where this place is, don't bother asking. <laughs> Um, but guys, yeah, like I said, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'd love to hear in the comment section, what was your favorite car that you found in the video that you saw? And then, what are your general feelings about this? Like, are you happy? Are you sad? Uh, was it just like a trip down memory lane and nostalgic for you? I'm genuinely curious, so let me know. I definitely know I felt all of those things today. And uh, I do have to say, Okamoto-san. A massive thank you to this guy here. Make sure you go check him out on YouTube. The whole reason why we're here today is because of him. I don't know what he's doing. But anyways, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.